Hey Brent, back to Power Labs. What's up Greg? We got more stuff to do. H&S hooked us up with some new uh, products that we're going to try out. Uh, intake elbows and intercooler elbows, high flow stuff there. Uh, we got the transmission code that's uh, going to fix the transmission. Tell us a little bit about that. Tranny tuning locks up the converter a little more aggressively, more line pressure. Okay, so we're also going to be putting in an air raid uh, air filter system. Just get a little bit more flow there, hopefully some better mileage. Yeah. Best of all, train horns. We've got really badass train horns from realtrainhorns.net. See that ticket already? Between the <laughs> cop lights and sirens and train horns, be a fun day. <laughs> this is the K6 LA system. This is the baddest, loudest train horn system on the market. Wow. Only available from realtrainhorns.net. You better hope you're not old and driving 10 below the speed limit in front of me. <laughs> it's gonna be ugly. <laughs> so uh, we got some work to do. Now let's get her done. One of the reasons I went with realtrainhorns.net is they have these very cool adapters that they build specifically for the Nathan Air Chimes that makes installation a breeze. And you just basically bolt them on. It's got an O-ring on here that seals it. And so now it serves two purposes. We got a mounting point for the horn and we got a quick coupler as well. Uh, it makes the installation of the Nathan Air Chimes just a breeze. And it's only available through realtrainhorns.net. Well, it's a quarter after 10. We're just barely getting the train horns put on now. Let's see how Josh is doing. How you doing, Josh? Well, the moment we've been waiting for, testing of the real train horns <laughs> net. I think it's gonna be loud. We all have our ear protection in. <laughs> what you think of that? Pretty loud. <laughs> You're gonna have to be careful with them. It's way well, too loud. <laughs> so you guys put a lot of H&S stuff on, don't you? Oh yeah. Good product. Nice. Tuners and everything. We're planning out the methanol kit right now. Jetting. So nozzle location. So water mess, no performance. What's it gonna do for me? You probably see a mile and a half, two miles per gallon, typically on the dyno, 50 to 70 horse. You see all this soot here? All the carbon from your EGR system. After uh, running it for a little while, we can take this back apart and that will all be gone. Makes the air charge more dense. That's where you get the mileage and power. Cooler air charge temps, it's like a chemical intercooler. These guys are the best in the business. They know diesels like nobody else. Anything aftermarket, been there, done that, and they're good people. So, uh, thanks, Greg. They did a great job on round one with the ultimate tow rig, and of course, it's a natural to come back for some more stuff. So, if you need anything else done, powerlabsdiesel.com. Brent and the gang will fix you up like they did me and the ultimate uh, tow rig. Yep.